Pixel Art Academy has reached a big milestone. The admission week chapter that I've been working on for the last two years is now playable from start to finish. And everyone who pre-ordered or backed the game can play it. So yeah, check it out and we'll talk about it a little bit now. Hello everybody, uh, I'm Retro and if you remember you're watching Pixel Art Academy 101, uh, my YouTube show about my video game Pixel Art Academy, you've been watching it since May 2018, so about a year and a half, uh, and this might be actually one of the last episodes in the 101 series, because this first chapter admission week that I've been working, chapter 1, uh, is getting close to finished a little bit for the first time right now it's playable so all the gameplay elements that i wanted to do in this first version are in there it's still an alpha version it doesn't have a lot of art there's a shit ton of bugs and yeah there's no art it's still a text adventure and it doesn't have all the features i wanna eventually put into it but for now you can play it from start to finish and so yeah this is gonna be a little bit of intro of of what's all in there that I've worked on for all this time. There are two things I wanted to talk to you about today and the first one is the Admission Week app. If you remember back from the second episode, yeah, you get a, a Pixel Boy, this sort of a tablet where you will do most of the assignments to get admitted to the Academy. Um, and it just gave you these five apps immediately. It's a little bit overwhelming to new players and the way it was always meant to be is you actually unlock them one by one and you do that in the new Admission Week app. So when you open it up, you get a little bit of instructions and you start your Admission Week, which starts counting and it tracks your progress, gives you these four goals that you need to complete. And the main thing is to be able to unlock the other five apps that I've talked about previously on the show. You will be able to unlock an app every day and these are physical days, so you will have to wait. And if you really don't want to wait, you can also go to your bedroom and sleep there and time will automatically pass. But because one of the admission week goals is to set your own commitment, how much do you actually want to practice drawing? Because eventually you want to do this activity into the future so you decide well I want to do two days a week or five days a week or maybe even every day and so to complete that admission goal you actually have to log into the game that many times as you said so basically it's in your interest to spread it out throughout the week depending on the goal that you set for yourself if choosing between the five apps is a little bit overwhelming still, there is a recommendation button that's gonna tell you what it thinks is good for you based on the personality things that you entered when you were creating your character. So for example, if you're an extrovert, if you're a little social butterfly, the app will suggest to you, you should uh, take the yearbook app. And it's the second thing I wanted to talk about today. The yearbook app is where you can see all of your classmates, everyone that has pre-ordered or bought the game and created their character. You can see all of these characters, there's a lot of them. The important thing for admission week is this little card at the front your personal profile where you get to fill in all the information that you wanted to share with your classmates and the more you share the more you will be able to know about your classmates because you will be able to ask them those things and you will exchange information. The point of this assignment is to join a study group because you want to have supporting environment while you go through these learning tasks and it's really nice to go and do that with other people. Once you have filled out your profile card, you'll hear an announcement on the speakers in Retronator headquarters that a meeting for a new applicants to the Academy of Art is going to start. You make your way to the gallery where in that open space this is taking place and you will see a lot of people there and you're gonna see my character by the table where I'm gonna ask you to grab a marker and some stickers and make yourself a name tag and from that point on Shelly who's the coordinator or for the admission is gonna take it over she's gonna 
give a little speech and then there's going to be this kind of sort of introductory activity where everyone's gonna get her in the middle and then she's gonna ask questions for example are you more extroverted or introverted and people will choose their sides and you can kind of see uh, which characters are kind of like you and which ones aren't and then there's do you want to do more pixel art or do you want to do other art styles of art or you want to be a professional in this field or you think it's more of a hobby just kind of little icebreakers so that you can start conversations about these things with other people you write all of the answers down on stickers put them on your chest and so as soon as this activity is over you get five minutes to then look around and see what kind of answers people wrote talk to them more and you can ask them those things how old are you or you're from what your aspiration who's your favorite superhero Eventually, the time to choose a study group will come and people will join either group A, B and C and it really doesn't matter which one you choose but you know if you found some characters that you really like and you want to be with the study group in them yeah you can see where everyone went and you get to decide which one you're gonna go with. Every group is going to get a coordinator and a meeting location where you will meet and so after the mixer is over, you go there. There is a round of introductions where everyone says a little bit about themselves so you know who you will be meeting with, after which the game teaches you about the hangout command. You execute the hangout command at the meetup location, after which people will tell you what they've been working on, what kind of journal entries they wrote, which learning goals they completed. Additionally, there is a reciprocity round where everyone can ask for any help or share any thoughts that they have. And in this way, the game teaches you about the say command, which is how you can literally say things in the game. Because a lot of time you're just talking to NPCs or talking to other players, but those are all pre-scripted dialogues. Whereas with the say command, you're actually saying that and after you say it, other people will see it as well and be able to respond just like kind of like normal conversations except that not everyone is on at the same time so the way i made it is as soon as you say something the game captures that moment in a memory and in your sync interface you can see all of these memories that have been captured for you. Even when you start a conversation, you don't have to stay there and wait for somebody to reply. You can go on with your day, you can go to your learning task and they will glow green when somebody has replied and added something to that memory. And you can use this command all throughout the game. When you, for example, read somebody's journal, you can use this command to give comments on their things. And then the owner of the journal will actually get notified that you've said that to them and that's a very neat way how you can leave comments for other people that you follow. It's been really nice, we've been doing this for three and a half years, yeah, for leaving each other's comments and writing our journals for whatever we write, even if we're not playing the game and doing things in the game, we're just writing what we're learning and what we've been drawing in the real life. So yeah, you're very welcome to do that. The design of the study groups is a little bit experimental because I wanted to give you this kind of a cozy feeling of having a small tight-knit group of people that you know what they're working on and so the way I did that is that every group has first of all two NPC members then there are two real player characters that have joined 
that study group before you and you will see them, these four NPCs plus the two players, you will see them when you're going through this mixer in the gallery and then after you've already started the study group two characters will also join kind of a little bit late and in this way even though players come and go they join the study group and then they finish the mission where you can move on you kind of see sort of a bubble with two players before you and two players after you you just kind of interact with those plus the two npcs the purpose of the NPCs is that they something's gonna be going on every day, even if other players, real players, uh, didn't do anything. However, these NPC stories are not in the game yet, so you will actually not be able to see them at all, which is kind of sad, but it's not the most important thing right now. It will definitely come in the future. But yeah, right now it's not the most important. I really want to get to the learning parts faster, the stuff that actually happens at the academy. So I'm probably gonna leave that for admission week 2.0. Right now, all of the important parts are here. You can join a study group, learn how to talk to other people, create a study plan, see all of the tasks that you can do, track your progress decide on a commitment goal how much you want to draw and then try to achieve that goal and then finally you gotta complete an admission project which is the whole drawing of pico 8 thing and learning how pixel art tools work one of the things i will be working on in the following months is doing illustrations for key locations during admission week like retronator headquarters and your apartment i really need to give a little bit more visual eye candy to reward players going through the storylines before I move on. And of course fix all the bugs you guys will encounter. I have a huge list already, I'm sure you guys will encounter some more. Once all of this is a little bit more polished, illustrations are there, that's gonna be it for chapter one. And that's gonna be it for this YouTube show, Pixel Art Academy 101. But no worries, there's gonna be Pixel Art Academy 102 for chapter two, once that happens. Till then, if you want to follow the development, everything I've been kind of talking about, what's going to happen, I have a Patreon devlog. You can just follow there and of course you can also contribute something that really helps. Uh, if you contribute at least $3, you also get to play the game. As long as you're a patron at $3, that's pretty cool. And if you don't like subscriptions, memberships and all of that kind of stuff, you can just pre-order the game as well. One thing I really want to make you aware of is that you don't actually need alpha access anymore that admission week is in open alpha so everyone can play it you can just buy the basic version where you choose one of the pre-existing characters or the full version where you also get the avatar and behavior editor for your character you can fully create your character and that's it that's all you need to play through all of the things i've shown you right now and alpha access if you have it or if you want to buy it so that you support project more that will give you exclusive access to the new chapters chapter two and into the future so yeah, the value of that is still there, but as always, it was there just if you wanted to support the project more, which I really appreciate. That's it for this episode. I will see you sometimes in 2020, probably. Have happy holidays, people. See you then.